A double pointed dart is used on a garment going from one apex of the body to another. So in this case, on the back of a shirt, from the shoulder blade to the hip, bringing in the fabric the most at the waist. It's essentially where there's no waist seam and you're bringing in the fabric most at the waist, decreasing to nothing at the hip, decreasing to nothing at the shoulder or bust point. So it's found on shirts and it's found on dresses. To create that double pointed dart, you'll need to mark on the wrong side of your fabric the two points and then some points along the way. A pattern would usually come with circles that you could mark either with tracing paper and a wheel or with pins. Because it is a shaped dart though, in this case, tracing paper and a tracing wheel are sometimes the best way to mark that. So to pin this, I'm going to fold it from one end to the other and I'm going to put horizontal pins there. A horizontal pin to mark that end of the dart and this end of the dart. The points in between now, when I poke a pin through the dot on this side, I want to make sure it's coming out to the corresponding dot on the other side and I'm going to keep that pin also horizontal. Same on this one, poke it through one side, make sure it's coming out in the right place on the other side. And the last one. Good. Good. And now I'm going to sew this just like two separate darts. I'm going to start in the center, come down to that one point the same way I did the single point dart, and then come from this side down to that point. I'm going to start with a small back tack right at that center dot. I can sew the middle inch or so parallel to my fold. But then I want to soon be angling out toward this point. I'm going to pass through that point. Taking out my pin at the last second and then tapering off so that my last few stitches will be right on the edge there. And then finish off in your preferred method, either a tiny back tack or with a few stitches at a very small stitch length, or like I'm gonna do on this one, lift up, pull your threads so that you can tie off a knot. You can use that, you can use the method of tying off a knot on the double point dart or the single point dart. Okay, and now coming right up to that center point again, coming right up to the center point again, I'm going to start again with a back tack. And then sew a small section just parallel to the fold and then angle so that I'm coming into that center dot and then continue to taper off the fold at this point of the dart. And I'll tie off my threads on this side and trim my threads from the center. At the iron now, I'm just going to press that dart flat. My iron is not extending past the points though. I don't want to have a I don't want to have an inside out crease at above and below the dart. Then I can take my tailor's ham. Vertical darts go toward the center of the body. Find a place on your tailor's ham where that molds nicely. both ends there should be no bubble it should make a nice transition from the sewn area to the unsewn area it should be nice and smooth also make sure your dart is opened all the way out wonderful nice and smooth like that at both ends 
and that's what can nip in the waist of a dress or shirt nicely for you.